Hi guys, today we're going to be making a grad cap using just black tights and cardboard. I'm using a pizza box because pizza is life and basically you're just going to want to draw out a 9 by 9 inch square and then use a knife to cut it out. Using a knife will give you much cleaner lines than using scissors. I'm decorating my hat with some scrapbook paper and also paint. If you don't want to watch me decorate, you can definitely skip ahead. I picked a fish theme for my hat because I love fishies and Finding Nemo is one of my favorite Pixar movies ever. There are so many cute grad hat designs online, you can definitely find one that fits your major or fits your interest better. Here I'm just painting Baby Dory. Baby Dory is so cute, I still can't get over how cute she is. Dory's contour game is so strong though, I'ma make her look like Kim Kardashian and also give her some nice highlights. And after highlighting and contouring, you gotta blend that out so you know it doesn't look too fake. Um, <laughs> now I'm just painting her little fins. Dory's body is like 75% eyeball. <laughs> Her eyes are absolutely enormous. I was too lazy to paint three other fishies, so I just printed some out and then I glued them on, painted over them. My color printer at home is always out of ink. I didn't have any letter stickers, so I just made some fancy lettering by myself. Then I found some sparkly gemstones and glitters to make a shiny border all around my hat. And I just used a glue gun to stick them on. Then when you're done with the design, glue it onto the cardboard. And I didn't have any tassels at home, but I had a lot of embroidery thread. So I kind of just looped it around my hands to make a little tassel. And I also used ribbon and glue gun to tie it up. And then make sure to cut open one end of the tassel. It looks a little bit wonky, but like it works. <laughs> Afterwards, glue your tassel onto your hat. I'm using a fancy bead I found on a hair tie, but you can also use like a button. Use some black fabric to cover up the underside of the hat. You can use black tights for the fabric. And for the actual hat part, I'm using like this thigh section of my leggings. Um, and it fits perfectly over my head. If it's too loose, you can always use like the knee section or like the butt section if it's too narrow. Um, and make sure you like make a mark at the top where your head is. And then cut like two inches of fabric above the line that you made earlier and then measure the opening uh, where your head is supposed to go in. Use that measurement to draw a square at the bottom. Now we're going to make four cuts down to the line. The cuts should be spread out evenly. Then we're going to take one of the flaps and then glue it inside the square. It doesn't have to match up with the lines perfectly. So don't worry if your fabric doesn't exactly fit the lines. We're going to keep gluing until all four of the flaps are inside the square. When you're done, it should look something like this. I forgot to film this part, but you can add a strip of ribbon around your hat to make it look nicer. And this is what it should look like when you put it on. I don't have to hem the edges because I have black hair, but uh, if you have like lighter colored hair, that might be a good idea. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're graduating or have already graduated, I wish you all the best. I hope you pay off your student loans and land your dream job right away, which can be a challenge sometimes. But I believe in you and I hope you guys are doing well. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!